Tokyo Institute provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Institute, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud tech stack, resume preparation and ready, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Institute has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinstitute.com. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to discuss on method overloading and method overriding, and then we'll discuss on abstract class and sealed class. So let's get started. So let me open Visual Studio. So start Alpha Exams Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. And then, uh, so now I'm going to create a new project, console application. So file, file new project, file new project. And I'm going to select console application. Okay. So for those who just joined the class, I mean, um, some now you will understand even if you have missed the previous classes. So this is completely different from different topic from what we have discussed previously. So I'm going to create a console application. Click on OK. OK. So now uh, what I'll, I'll, I'll just create another class. So I have a class here, class program. So I'll be creating another class here. So, so now which is math library. So I'm going to create a class here, which is math library class math library. Your screen is. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. So any, any issue with the screen, screen resolution or something? No. I'm, I'm, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to create a cl class uh, called math library. And inside that, what I'll do now here is I'm going to add two numbers. Or, or let's take uh, a simple example called, oh uh, yeah, let me add two numbers. So how to add two numbers? So I'll write here public int add numbers. And I'll write here int a comma int b. So so now I'm going to add, I'm going to create a method called int add numbers. Now I'm, I'm doing return a plus b. Okay, so now I just created a class called math library and I created a method called public int add numbers. So how can I access this method? How can I access this method inside my static void main? I need to yeah, we have to create an instance of it, or we have to create an object of it. So, so now what I'll do here is I'll do math library, math library ml is equal to new math library, and then what I'll do here ml dot ml dot add numbers. So add numbers I need to give here five comma six. So now now I can simply write here console dot um, console dot right line, and now what it'll do is it'll add five comma six and it'll display me saying like now I'm writing console dot read line. Now I have a question for all of you. So the moment when I'm typing read line, so the when I'm typing read line, I'm seeing I'm seeing a message like this reads next line of characters from standard input stream. But when I'm when I'm typing add numbers, I don't see any any message here. So can you please tell me how to do how how can I get that description for my method? I got only response from Padmini. I want to see the response from everyone. Uh, I repeat my question. I want to see the description for my method add numbers, the way I, I'm seeing for read line. So when I type read line, see here, when I'm typing read line, I'm seeing, I'm seeing description. I'm seeing description about read line. See now. So I'm seeing description like this, reads the next line of characters from this. But the moment when I'm typing, so I told this in one of the previous class. So um, we have to write the description through not the definition control, not to go to control. 
so we have uh, we have three types of comments can you please recollect what are the what are the three types of comments we discussed anyone other than padmini wants to tell about three types of controls three types of comments yeah so i want to see the response from everyone so what are the three types of comments we discussed we discussed about inline comments multi line comments what is the third one okay so can you recollect this one so when i put three slashes here 1 2 3 we saw that did we discuss this before yeah we discussed it so i strongly re uh, request all of you to um, practice whatever we discussed otherwise like uh, yeah okay so now here i just so for the method which i want i can simply add three slashes here so i can add 1 2 3 slashes here and then what i can do here i can type this method will add two numbers okay so now one more thing which you can notice here is the moment when i'm typing white line for example when i'm typing white line so console dot white line so i am seeing here uh, so when i type brackets here so let me show you how i will see here so just a second okay so i am seeing here one of 19 i am not sure how many of you are seeing this so i am seeing here one of 19 what do you think is one of 19 for example if i put a bracket here the first thing i will see here as 1 of 19 let me put bracket again see now i'm seeing 1 of 19 here 1 of 19 what is this 1 of 19 any idea anyone yeah uh, mr khan you are right and so what is that uh, okay so if you see here there are 19 methods with the name right line there are 19 methods with the name right line so this is called this is called overloading but so so that means when i put dot right line and when i put here when i put brackets and i press down arrow i can see all this so i have right line without brackets or anything i have right line with bool value i have right line with character i have right line with buffer or whatever so decimal value so i have 19 over overloads for this method right line so so that is now when i put here so let me uh, let me remove this now when i put here dot add numbers brackets i am not seeing anything as such so i am only seeing add numbers in the a comma b so let's try to add some overload for this so what if i want to add three numbers i want to add three numbers so let me create another method called public int add numbers int a comma in b in b comma in c okay so here i'm going to add i'm going to add here return a plus b a plus b plus c now i'm going to give the same uh, description for this so here i'll add three xml comments 1 2 3 the moment i i type three slashes i will be seeing this uh, whatever i see here so now i can write here this method I'll add three numbers. So you and I can write description for this. Uh, I can write description for this A B C. I can write here saying like first number. I can write here second number. And I can write here third number. Okay. So now how many methods I have with add numbers? How many methods I have with the same name add numbers? So I have I have two methods with add numbers. So so now let's try to understand. Let me try let me type here add numbers and put brackets here and see how many overloads I see there. So dot add numbers when I put brackets here. So all of you are able to see this. I am seeing now one of two. So when the first one is selected, I will see here this method will add two numbers. When I press down arrow, when I press down arrow, I will see that uh, I will see the description about the second one. Okay. So so this is about one of two because your right line is having 19 types of methods it is showing one of 19 and here your add numbers we have two methods with the same method name add numbers so 
method overloading is something like same method name with different parameters. Same method name with different parameters, we call it as method overloading. Method overloading, same method name with different parameters. So add numbers, we have two overloads and here it is displaying one of two. When you press here, uh, the moment when you press bracket and press down arrow, you can see here, you can see that two of two because you are seeing the second method ABC. So since you added first number here, it is showing A colon first number. It will show you B colon second number. So since we added the description here. Okay, so is it clear now what is, what is overloading, how they are getting one of 19? Just a second. Okay, okay. So now, uh, now let's try to understand. So, do you think this is useful? Giving first number, second number, and third number. Do you think this is useful? Because when you give like that, that will help uh, those who are using that method. So the moment you type this, when you when you when you type this down arrow, when you are typing second method, second uh, second add numbers method with three parameters. See now, when I'm typing a, it is showing a first number. So five comma. When I type comma and then came to the second number, it's showing B second number. So that will help you. So that is that is the purpose of uh, one of the use of XML comments. So next time when I ask you how to give a description for these methods and variables, you have to tell me we need to use XML comments. Okay. So so now. So if you add another, um, so I'll type here six comma and I'll type here eight. So this is about method overloading. So I repeat again having the same method name within a class within the same class within the same class having the same method name same method name add numbers with different parameters with different parameters we call it as method overloading method overloading okay so now let's try to understand what is what is method overriding okay now i i'm going to remove this example Yes, yes. So, so when you create more than one method with the same method name and with different signature, so we call this as signature. So that is called method overloading. Okay. So creating more than one method with the same name with different parameters, or we call it as different signature, that we call it as method overloading. Okay. So, so even you can realize here that uh, you can realize here that, for example. See here, what is it showing here? It, when I type here right line, when I type here right line, what is it showing here? Plus, what does it mean by 18 overloads? The same method right line is having the current method plus 18 overloads. So total how many methods we have for right line? We have 19 methods. So here itself you are seeing that this is plus 18 overloads. So overloading is something called same method name, same method name, exactly same method name, but with different signature or we call it as different parameters. Okay. Remember, you need to have different parameters. In interviews, they will ask you, can I have different written type? It's not about written type. It is about parameters. Parameters should vary, not the written type. Okay. So any doubts in method overloading? Okay, okay. So now we'll try to understand what is method overriding. Okay, so before that we need to understand what do we what is inheritance? What is inheritance? Okay. So now let's try to understand inheritance and then we'll come back uh, with the topic called met with the topic of method overriding. So let me remove this. Let me remove this everything. Okay. Now we are going to see about what is method, uh, what is inheritance, inheritance. Okay. So now I have a class, I have a class called, I have a class called print high and uh, print, uh, mm, let me take some simple good example. So I have a class called 
print hindi hai okay so inside this i have uh, i have a method called public void print hai so here uh, print hindi hai okay so i have a method inside this so inside this i'm going to add here console dot write line i'm going to add here namaste so namaste is a word in hindi uh, if you want to tell a uh, hi in hindi so now this is about uh, this is about printing in hindi now i want to print uh, in tamil okay so print tamil hi so anyone knows it what is it in tamil for hi no one knows it yeah good so in tamil we call we say it as vanakkam so i'm writing here console dot write line okay so now this is about vanakkam so so this is about in tamil now let's let me have in english so i want to have a class class print english hi so anyway in english we we say only hello or hi so public void print english hi okay so now i'm going to write here console dot write line okay so let's let's not worry about this third one so we'll have it only three things now i what i need now is i want to have a class i want i want to have a class with inside this hi so let me have one this one so i have a class called public hindi hi and i have another class called pub print hi so inside this i have i have already one method called public tamil and let me have another method called public void print english hi okay so here i'm writing console dot write line i'm writing here hello okay so now i have one class exclusive for hindi and i have another common class called print hi inside which i have for tamil and english so now if i want if i want to have even hindi also i have separate class for hindi but i want to reuse this functionality reuse this method inside this uh, inside this print hi because this print hi is a common common class which has all like which has tamil which has english i don't want to have uh, i need even this functionality so instead of writing this again here so what i can do here i can even write again here and and i can create now if i want to access any of these methods what i can do i can create an object of it print hi so what i'll do here and just do it here print hi and then and then uh, obj is equal to new print hi and then what i can do here i can simply write obj dot obj dot print whatever method i can call here obj dot print hindi hi or whatever so obj dot print tamil hi okay so here so i have two classes one is exclusive for hindi and i have other class common class called print hi which is having in tamil english and hindi now if imagine uh, imagine in in hindi uh, they in future they change from namaste to uh, they change it from namaste to abc uh, let's say it's abc or let's say that as uh, anything so now uh, they change to namaste to namaskar okay so in this case in this case how many places you want to modify now imagine in hindi Uh, uh the language uh, people have decided that instead of namaste we have to use it uh, namaskar or whatever so now we have to modify in two places i have to modify here i have to modify here so so even in c sharp it always suggests to have reusability instead of having same functionality repeating again and again so what we can do here is instead of writing this method again uh, again why we don't want to write again is we want to have reusability 
that is the main goal of having object oriented programming concept so we need to we try for reusability instead of creating duplicate code so we, we should avoid writing duplicate code because in future if you want to change it you have to search for this you have to search in your solution where where all you have you have uh, you have written the duplicate code and you have to change all the places as of now at the moment we have to modify two places we don't want to do that so for that reason what we can do here is we can actually reuse this method in this class so for that what we need to do is let me remove this and since i have a dedicated class for hindi i can reuse that method inside here using inheritance so now so i can put a comma here and then i can write here print hindi hi so the moment when i write this all the methods all the public and protected methods all the methods uh, whatever i have whatever methods i have inside this print hindi hi so for now assume public methods you can actually use it just a second i need to write here just a second yeah sorry this is how we need to write it so you just need to put a colon mark so so the moment you put a colon mark here so now let me rebuild this see now actually this print hindi hi belongs to this uh, this class but still when i'm when i'm typing here when i type here dot i am seeing this here even though this belongs to even though that belongs to uh, another class but when i create object for print hi i am seeing this method okay so that is the advantage of using uh, that is the advantage of uh, inheritance so so how do we create inheritance here so all you need to do is you just need to put a colon mark okay so you need to put a colon mark and then you need to write here you need to write here print hindi hi okay so is it clear now what is the simple example this very simple example for inheritance so what is the, what do you think is a use of inheritance one simple use of inheritance all of you what do you think is the is is the is the use of inheritance perfect example is reusability and uh, do you think do you think uh, uh, using inheritance will save time down the line if you want to make any any code changes or anything yeah so that is the perfect use of reusability so reusability is the main goal of object oriented programming concepts reusability so here we we this class is called parent class and this class is called child class okay so since since you are trying to use the method which is present here inside this class we are trying to use it inside this print hi so this one is called parent class so it is giving some methods to this class so this is called child class okay so there are different names for it so so you can call it as parent class or you can call it as base class or you can call it super class super class and sub class so we call it as parent class and child class base class and derived class super class or sub class okay so there are different names for uh, for uh, for this base class and derived class so keep in mind these names don't get confused with uh, different names so so here um, for example yeah yeah i saw your question bavik i'll i'll be answering it in a while so now here um, here if i um, say for example this is how we need to write here let me let me select some so this is base class now this is called print Hindi hi, and we are trying to implement that in uh, whatever we have in here for. Okay, so this is called whatever you see here. This is called single inheritance. So I'm just writing some arrow mark here. So this functionality is called single inheritance. And what are the different names we have for this one? So you need to tell me what are the different names we have for this one for the first one for print Hindi hi class. What are the different names? you can call it as super class you can call it as base class or you can call it as parent class what are the different names for this uh, for this bottom one print hi yeah 
Yeah, we have we call it as pair class or subclass or we can call it as derived class. Derived class. Remember, don't get confused uh, with these terms. Okay. So now, now let's. I have I got a question from one of the students saying like, can we do it for for uh, multiple classes? Can we reuse multiple classes? For example, um, let let's try to understand. Okay, the third name, the third name is so we have parent class and child class, base class and derived class, super class and subclass. Okay, okay. Now, 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 let's try to understand whether we have something called multiple multiple inheritance. So this is called single inheritance. So before before getting started, I'll I'll just explain you. What are the different types of inheritances we have in C sharp? I mean, normal, not in C sharp. Normally, what are the types of inheritances we have? So Windows R, MS Paint. So let me let me uh, let me write it. So I'll ask questions. You have to tell me. So what do we call this inheritance? If you already have some experience, what do we call this one? Okay, and what do we call this one? And what do we call this one? Okay, so let me uh, let me put some numbers for this, and I'll ask. Uh, one of you can tell me uh, if you are aware of these names. So this is number one, and this is number two, and this is number three, and this is number four. So which is the one which we used in our example? Which is the one which we used in our example? Which number we used? Yeah, we used number one in our example. That is called single inheritance. So anyone wants to tell me? Uh, anyone can unmute and tell me what are the what are these inheritances? If you already know it, that's just just to check. Who wants to tell me? One through one, two, three, four. Just you can unmute yourself and tell me. Uh, anyone? Jesse, Bavik, or Bavita, Padmini. Anyone wants to take this? Give it a try. Even it, it it could be wrong. That should not be a problem. Okay. So I'll I'll tell here. I think okay. So this is called this is called single inheritance. So this is called single inheritance where we have one base class, one base class and one derived class, one parent class and one child one child class that is called single inheritance and what do we call this one so we have we have here one two three three base classes and one child class this is called multiple this is called multiple don't get confused between multiple and multi level okay this is called multiple inheritance okay so this is called multiple inheritance Mult more than one base class and and one derived class that we call it as multiple and the fourth one, this one is called multi-level, multi-level. So this one is multi-level. Why I'm telling this is in interviews. If you attend any interviews, they might ask you to, to explain what are the different in inheritance methods we have. So remember, so we have single inheritance, multiple inheritance, and this is multi-level. Okay, this is multi-level inheritance. And what is this one? Any idea? So. Here, let me tell this A. Any idea about what is the third one? Anyone wants to try it? What is the third one? Okay. Uh, okay. So I got one response saying hierarchical tree level or something. Okay. So let's try to understand here. So A, B, C, A. B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Okay, now, 
this class B is having how many base classes in in first one in first one uh, this class B is having how many base classes only one base class so if you have only one base class and if it is not having any derived class so do you think this class is having one base class and is this class B is again base class for any other class here no in that case this is called single inheritance if if for a class if it's having one base class and if it's not base class for other class then it is called single inheritance if it is having one base class and it is base class for other for other class then it is actually we have different levels that we call it as multi level inheritance and here this class if you take it is having how many base classes it is having three base classes so that is the reason why this is called as multiple inheritance okay let's come here so how many base classes this is having class b and even class c is having one base class so can you write this pictorially can you write this like this so can you write like this a here and here it is like this b and you can write here a here and you can write this as c and you can write here provides world class online it training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide h2k infosys how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud tech stack resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes h2k infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide for a free demo class visit us at h2kinfosys.com